We have three levels of operating obesity. Physical obesity, because we eat a lot without knowing. That is also because mind is not available when you are eating. Clock is telling you time to eat, not your body. That is when obesity happens, right? Clock tells you time to eat, then we eat. Body may not be ready for food, but we still we eat. Uh, physical obesity also has a root. It's not just eating food. It is the, uh, the storing uh, thing. Uh, storing is happening always with uh, stagnated energy. If energy is flowing, there's no storage, right? It cleanses it off. So uh, it is a partially psychological thing, number one. Second is, we are emotional, so to change the emotion, we eat food. You know, as an escape route. Getting out of emotion, we eat food. It's a tragedy. Then, there are numerous ways. I mean, I, let's not dissect on that now. Second is, emotional obesity. Overwhelmed with emotions. All the time emotion. And we, we um, source it from soap operas, television programs, murders, tragedies, you know, and we'd like to ma watch feature films which are terribly bad. You know, this, <laughs> they make you sulk. Uh, tragedies, all those kind of stuff. So, emotional obesity, too much of emotion. And then you look at the world through the eyes of emotion. Third is intellectual obesity, the desire for knowledge. Cramming the brain with knowledge, which is completely unusable. Understand? Knowledge is good provided you can digest them and experience them. Otherwise, it's just information. You can have as much information as you like, but it's un completely unusable in daily life. So better to have lesser information, which is usable information. Otherwise, you can only show off. That is why people run away from us. We keep talking. We don't listen. And we keep expressing some knowledge for proving ourselves. There is nothing to prove in this world. People can understand who you are just by looking at you.